Hey everybody, it's Everyman Dan, and today I'll be showing you how to make an epoxy cup like this one I made for Katie. I'll be walking you through some of the steps I did, and even showing you how I rigged up a KitchenAid mixer as a cup turner. So guys, for this cup, I needed a white background. I went to the store and I could not find any cups with just plain white background. So I bought a blue colored one and I was gonna go home and just spray paint it. So here, I took flat white spray paint and covered the whole cup. I was careful to cover up anywhere that I didn't want painted with electrical tape and I was able to just have to do one coat on this cup. It was a light colored already and the, the spray paint did a really good job covering it. It didn't take long to dry and I was able to get to the next step. Uh, here I took dishwasher safe Mod Podge and a glitter that I got from Michael Craft Store and coated this whole cup with Mod Podge and sprinkled the glitter on it. Uh, I had done a cup previously and I had used spray adhesive and I like that a lot better it went on a lot quicker and more evenly when I was using this Mod Podge it took me so long to get all the bubbles and trying to get it as smooth that by the time that I was finishing putting the glitter on it was already starting to dry and I didn't get great coverage I actually had to go back and do a second coat and at that I just dumped it on and really put a lot of glitter on heavy because the first coat I didn't get exactly the result that I was looking for. Once you've got the whole cup covered you want to take a top coat, just a clear spray paint, and cover the whole cup. What this is going to do is going to seal your glitter where it is. So when you start to do our epoxy layer, um, we're spreading it around with our hand. We're not picking up little pieces of glitter and moving it around and causing kind of inconsistencies in our epoxy layer. So after we've sealed our glitter on our cups, we're going to use amazing clear cast epoxy that I got from Hobby Lobby and we're going to mix our A and B side uh, together. That's one part A and one part B equal and I'm going to measure it out on a scale for one ounce each. One ounce works for me. It covers the cup with a little bit extra even if I needed it. Um, it comes with little measuring cups you can use if you want but today I'm going to use my scale. Alright, so once we've got all our epoxy stirred up and looking good, uh, you're going to want to take it and spread it all over the cup. You will put on little by little, just spray it on the top and use your fingers to smear it around and you'll kind of feel where there is and is not epoxy. So you just want to make sure this first go around that you get every bit of the cup covered. We're not looking for a thickness or smoothness right now. We're just making sure we don't leave any spots untouched. Uh, keep turning it as you go, spreading, and you'll be able to kind of feel with your fingers where it is it already is and isn't so even if you can't quite see it most of the time you'll feel it grab a little bit where there's not epoxy so I'm turning my cup manually um, I made this little jig out of a couple pieces of plywood I had laying around and I'm turning it with one hand while I spread it on with the other. A lot of people make automatic ones out of rotisserie motors, but I rigged up this little beauty here with our KitchenAid mixer. Um, it takes a long time to be sitting there and stir it. You're gonna be turning it for a couple hours um, by hand. So after the first hour or so, I said there's gotta be a better way. I took an old piece of wood, I shoved it in my PVC pipe, made a little adapter and turned it on and honestly 
this thing worked a lot better than I was thinking it was going to. So after your first layer of epoxy dries overnight, you're going to want to take some sandpaper and sand down the whole surface and add any decals or stickers that you'd like at this time. I wanted to put some crayons along the bottom of the cup and instead of trying to do it in one long sticker and having to deal with all the wrinkles and things that go with that I cut them into about three crayon wide strips and attached them one by one all the way across this was a lot easier and I didn't have any problems with wrinkles I had one little bubble that I tried to get out here I'm poking it with a knife and working it out with my fingers but other than that everything worked really well On the top part of the cup, I'm putting an apple with a leaf and Katie's name, or Mrs. Libra, layered on top of the apple. There's Harrison chewing on some straw. <laughs> After we get all the stickers and everything we'd like on the cup, we're going to do one last layer of epoxy and it's going to be done the same way as before, but just clear and, and this time after we're done, we won't sand it because we want to keep it a nice glossy finish. And then you have your finished product. Uh, it's a nice, smooth, glossy finish. The crayons turn really good. You can really see that white glitter we started with. I added a logo with my Etsy, YouTube, and Blogger logos on the bottom of it. Um, I sanded the bottom to kind of gave it a smoother, flatter surface. And that's about it. So really, if you had an automatic cup turner, you're looking at maybe 15 to 30 minutes of actual work each day and a day in between each coat of epoxy for it to dry. But other than that, it's really not that much work. Well, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Katie loves it, and everyone I show says nothing but good things about it. I've opened up an Etsy page, everymandan.etsy.com. You can go check out what I have for sale up there. Right now, it's just a couple things. I plan on adding a lot more here soon uh, but go check that out and see what's up for sale there or you can message me below and we can work something out if you don't want to go through Etsy but uh, be sure to like the video subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, leave any comments below I'd love to hear back from you I hope you like watching this video and I'll see you next time